Those five things can give you a pretty reliable 500 wheel horsepower C43 AMG. Hey guys, Jake from 8020 Media here. Today we're gonna to be talking about performance modifications for Mercedes C43 AMG. We're specifically gonna be talking about the 2015 plus models that use the DE30LA version of the M276 engine. There was a C43 AMG that was made from 1998 until 2002, but that uses a naturally aspirated 4.3 liter. It doesn't quite have the same tuning and performance capabilities as the three liter twin turbo that we're talking about here. And in addition, in 2023, they switched the C43 AMG to a two liter motor that has an electric hybrid motor for it as well. Those are very new and there's not quite aftermarket support for them yet. And so this is specifically gonna be focusing on the M276 three liter twin turbo in the 2015 plus C43 AMGs. Now, the good news is the C43 AMG responds really well to performance upgrades. And in case you wished you bought a C63 or had the C63 power instead, no worries because a couple bolt-on modifications will actually take this thing up to and beyond the power levels of the C63 AMG. So before we go ahead and jump into the performance modifications, let's talk a little bit about the engine power limits first. So the stock M276 in the C43 AMG produces 362 to 385 horsepower and 380 to 385 torque, depending on whether you have a facelift model or the 2015 to 2018 version. Now, the facelift models with 385 horsepower and torque typically tend to dyno around 330 to 340 wheel horsepower and about 340 to 350 wheel torque with the non-facelift models with 362 horsepower, dynoing in just slightly less than that. 500 wheel horsepower is gonna be the safe limit for the M276 DE30 LA engine. So we have about 160 to 170 wheel horsepower of leeway up until we get to the limits that start to make it unsafe and result in potential internal engine issues. These engines came with forged pistons, but they only got got cast iron connecting rods. So the connecting rods are gonna be the weak point on these engines. Once you start pushing beyond 500 wheel horsepower is once you start running into the likelihood of bending a rod. 500 wheel horsepower is pretty easy to get to with just a couple basic bolt-on modifications. And so we're gonna go ahead and keep this video to focus specifically on those bolt-ons that can get you to 500 wheel horsepower. Just since pushing beyond 500 wheel horsepower is going to start to require some internal engine upgrades and a built motor. And so because those are more advanced and significantly more expensive, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the easy things you can do to get pretty good power gains and give yourself a decently reliable 500 wheel horsepower C43 AMG. So the first modification is gonna be tuning. Like I mentioned, these engines respond really well to performance modifications and even more so to tuning. Just adding a basic tuner can add up to about 100 wheel horsepower and 125 wheel torque. And that is all thanks to the twin turbocharged design of the engine. Tuning is where your big power gains are gonna come from. It's gonna really help optimize the engine and the efficiency. It's gonna give you a larger power band, a more responsive turn turbocharger and overall give you the support that you need to produce these big power levels. All of the other modifications that we talk about are great for power gains and performance benefits, but what they're really good for is helping maximize the power gains that you get from tuning. And tuning does the same for those bolt-on modifications. You're not gonna be seeing significant power gains out of just an intake without having tuning as well. Tuning is really the building block. It's the most important modification that you can make, and it's where your big power gains are gonna come from, but it's also important to stick to this other list of more so supporting modifications to maximize the efficiency of the engine. So the second modification after tuning is gonna be a cold air intake. A cold air intake will add about 10 to 20 wheel horsepower when tuned. It's gonna help improve air density, which is gonna help support the higher boost levels from the tuning. It's also gonna give you quicker turbo spool, faster throttle response, and it'll give you a cool engine noise as well. And so a cold air intake is great to help support the turbocharger, take a little bit of stress off of it, and support the higher boost levels that the tunes can from the turbos. The third upgrade is going to be a downpipe. 
The downpipe is the most restrictive part of the exhaust system, just since the downpipes bolt directly up to the turbocharger, and therefore they create a lot of back pressure. And that back pressure acts as a force against the turbochargers, making it harder for them to spool and reducing their efficiency. So by upgrading the downpipe, we're able to reduce some restriction, which is going to reduce exhaust back pressure. It's going to allow the turbos to spool and spin more freely and more efficiently, which therefore unlocks power gains. Downpipes are also going to help give you a little bit of extra engine sound and they're going to reduce your exhaust gas temperatures and lower your engine temperatures a little bit and so they're good for an engine reliability and health standpoint as well by helping allow for lower temperatures. Downpipes will give you about 25 wheel horsepower and 25 wheel torque when you're tuned. So they're a great modification both to help support and take stress off of the turbocharger but also for the power gains that they provide as well. The fourth upgrade on our list is going to be an intercooler. The C43 uses an air to water intercooler which makes it quite a bit more expensive. So this isn't a must-have modification unless you're really running an aggressive tune and trying to sit at the 500 wheel horsepower level on a daily basis. But an intercooler is also going to be one of the best reliability modifications that you can make. It will add around 20 wheel horsepower just by sending colder air into the engine, but it's also going to help you reduce your engine temperatures and it's going to help you from leaking any boost. And so it's going to help you hold higher boost levels, which is what helps add that additional power. So it's not a 100% necessary modification if you're just running modest tunes, but it's still a great upgrade from a reliability standpoint. And it is something that I would recommend if you're trying to push the upper upper bounds of the power levels of the C43 AMG. It just is a $1,500 to $2,000 upgrade. So those four things are really our basic, what I would call bolt-on modifications with tuning, an intake, a downpipe, and an intercooler. If you want to push things a little bit further and get to that 500 wheel horsepower level or beyond, you're gonna want to look into some additional fueling upgrades. A great fueling upgrade is methanol injection. This is gonna require proper custom tuning to really be able to, one, make sure you're not sacrificing engine longevity or reliability, but really to maximize the benefits of methanol injection. This is gonna help lower your engine temps. It's gonna reduce the chances of pre-detonation. It's gonna lower EGTs. It's gonna lower your charge air temps and it effectively increases the fuel octane rating of your gas. Methanol injection is a fantastic modification. It's great reliability wise, it's great power wise. So it's something to consider. You can get upwards of 50 wheel horsepower with methanol injection. You just need to be careful and make sure that you're running the proper custom tuning with it to make sure you don't run into any serious engine problems from running it. So overall, my recommendation, if you're just looking to add a little bit of extra power and enjoy your C43 a little bit more, would be to add a basic plug and play tuner, throw an intake on there and get a downpipe. And there you're gonna be able to see some really nice power gains out of your engine, keep things within a safe limit, and not have to get too advanced in terms of the modifications that you're looking at. If you wanna push things further and get closer to that 500 wheel horsepower level, then you're gonna to wanna to look into adding water methanol injection just for a bit of additional fueling support, as well as looking at an intercooler to help with the power gains, but also to help with engine reliability, keeping temperatures down and keeping boost pressures up. Anyways, guys, that covers it for our list of modifications here. Those five things can give you a pretty reliable 500 wheel horsepower C43 AMG. If you guys appreciate this video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for our future content.